Welcome to the 5 Minutes to Sexy podcast, where you will learn how to achieve your sexy potential in 5 short minutes a day. Join Lucy, the sexy mama coach, on the modern day mama's journey to achieve a happy, fulfilling, sexy life. Hi ladies, it's Lucy, your host to 5 Minutes to Sexy. In today's episode, we are going over the best time hack for a sexy life, which is, drumroll please, simplifying. Didn't see that coming, did you? So simplifying your life is so sexy. It lets all the sexy things come out instead of all the stressful, overwhelming things. See, there will always be more and more to do. It's not so much about time management as it is about life management. So basically what you choose to eliminate and simplify in your life and the few things that you will actually choose to focus on. See, the thing is that many people confuse activity with accomplishment. We think that if we're busy, that's a good thing. It's seen as a positive factor in our lives, in our culture. But that's not always necessarily the case. Sometimes being so busy that we can't focus on what is really important to us, um, it takes away from 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 life. It's not life-giving. As moms, there are plenty of not-so-fun responsibilities that we already have to take care of, like diaper duty, night feedings, potty training, laundry, dishes, etc. Um, at any stage of parenting, really anyone who is even not a parent has enough responsibility, enough to do without having to pile on all the extra stuff that really doesn't belong in our lives. So does it even make sense to add more to the unenjoyment by committing our time to things that are just not that important to us? So this is where simplifying comes in. Think right now about what complicates your life and and what areas you can simplify. And when we simplify, we have more time and energy, our most important resources, to focus on what is really important. And this is what the happiest and most satisfied people do. When we when we don't simplify, we can so easily run ourselves ragged and just exhausted with unwanted, unnecessary commitments and activities that just make us unhappy and zap our mental and physical energy. And I don't know about you, but I don't want that in my life. I don't want that bad energy or that exhaustion or that um, just life zapping stuff in my life. And there's only so much time that we have in each day. And already so much required of us. So so please don't fall into the trap of confusing activity with accomplishment. Now, um, can I tell you a secret? The mystery of life balance is actually achieved through life management, like I mentioned, not time management. So by simplifying some things in life and eliminating some things completely, you're left with the most important things to focus on, your key priorities. Those things that will contribute the most to you fulfilling your purpose in life and achieving what you actually want to get out of life. So now when you're committing to something, ask yourself, what is the purpose? Um, Everything should have a purpose from pure enjoyment to meaningful contribution. The answer can really vary, but it must always have a purpose. Otherwise, why are you doing it? If it's only out of a sense of obligation or social pressure, then this may be just the activity to squash. So this week, as you go on, go on about your day, at some point, write down the activities that you're committed to right now, whether that's um, school clubs, volunteer events, social groups, uh, weekly activities, anything that is not something that you have to do to survive. I mean, like work, you know, to pay the bills. If an activity doesn't contribute to or enhance one of your main priorities in life, then don't commit to it. It's really that simple. Simplifying your life by cutting down on the extra activity and extra noise that doesn't contribute to your main priorities and instead focusing on the ones that do will make life so much richer and so much happier. Um, If you don't have any current activities that contribute to your main priorities, then this is a good time to seek out one, two, or maybe three new ones that can and put more time and energy into those. That's it for today, and thank you for joining me on the Journey to Sexy. Thanks for listening to 5 Minutes to Sexy. For more on how to be a sexy mama, visit SexyMamaMovement.com. See you there.